this video, I'll be discussing the critical information you'll need to submit to support when opening a case regarding a parsing issue. When opening your case, include the following information. The name of the appliance or software that generated the unknown, stored, or incorrectly categorized event. In this scenario, I'll be using a 3Com switch and a WebSphere app server as examples. A screen capture of the log source configuration and the diagnostics file from the log source protocol tester if applicable. A screen capture of the incorrect event from the log activity. The version of the software that is generating the events. If multiple appliance versions are in your network, list all versions. The DSM version installed on the QRadar console for this log source. And a full column XML export from the log activity on the console. Now we'll look at gathering the necessary screenshots from the first three requirements. Now for the log source configuration. From the admin tab, double click on the log source icon to open up the log source management application. Double click on your log source to bring up the configuration screen. From the log source management application, double click the log source to open the edit screen and take screen captures of the overview and protocol tabs. Be sure to submit the diagnostics files from the log source protocol testers if the log source is using a connection based protocol such as LogFile or JDBC. Next, from the Log Activity tab, take a screen capture of the incorrect event. Filter down to the log source in question and double click at an event in the Log Activity tab to view the event summary and submit a screen capture. Now we'll look at how to check what DSM version is installed for your log source. First, we'll need to log into the command line of the console as the root user. Here we'll use the yum info and grep for the name of the DSM. In my scenario, I'll use the dash E option with grep to search for both of my DSMs. With this information, you can cross-reference the version installed with the latest version on Fix Central and upgrade as necessary. Finally, let's look at exporting events for support. We'll navigate back to the Log Activity tab in the UI and filter down to the problematic log source. From here, we'll need to limit the number of events that are returned in the search results. Support only needs about 20 to 30 events to attempt to reproduce the problem, so we'll set the count to 30 events. And thank you for watching this video.